Hey everybody, it's Robin and welcome back to my channel. Today on the Robin's Nest, I have a very special cake planned for you guys. Today I'm going to be making a tasteful tatas cake, also known as a booby cake. Now why is this cake so special, you may ask? Well, it's because it's for a very good cause. A couple of weeks ago, I was approached by a local charity in my community called Pinkalicious to donate one of my cakes to their online auction. Immediately I said yes, because this fundraiser has become so important to our little community and has gone to help so many people that I know personally that have been directly affected by cancer. My mom even being one of them. But I'm lucky enough to say that she's still here with us today and she just so happened to be the one who placed the winning bid on my cake. So we're gonna be making this cake extra special for her today. And that's also why we're making a booby cake because I thought it would be such a fun little way to give you little ladies a reminder, don't forget to check your top tuts. <laughs> Let's get into it. So for today's cake, I baked up three vanilla cake rounds, one being a 10 inch, and we're gonna be torting this one and cutting it into a heart shape. And then I have two smaller five inch rounds, which I baked up in small stainless steel bowls to give a bit of a dome shape. We're gonna use these as our boobies. So before we do anything else, the first thing we need to do is trim these down and level these out so we have some nice level cakes to work with. And I'm going to be saving the tops off of my booby cakes because we're going to flip these over and I'm going to use the part that I cut off to build up the boob a little bit more. Alright, so once you finish leveling off your tops, the next thing we want to do is tort our layers. So I've readjusted my cake leveler to about half the height of what I had before. And then we're just going to cut these down the center and make two layers out of each one. Now we can start to assemble our cake. So to begin assembling, we're gonna start by adding a nice generous layer of icing in between each of our layers of cake. And we're gonna be using some homemade strawberry vanilla buttercream. So good. So we're just gonna take a little bit of icing and we're gonna apply this to our cake board. And this is gonna act like a bit of a glue and it's gonna hang onto our cake and help it stick. And we're gonna take our first layer. And we're gonna apply that where we want it and give it a little press so it sticks. And then we're gonna fill our layer. All right, so once you've filled your 10 inch, we're gonna go ahead and start working on our boobies. So we're gonna pick this one up and we're just going to set it off to the side. We're going to get another cake board. And we're going to fill the layers of our boobies. And then we're going to build them up with our extra cake scraps. All right, so we finished stacking and filling our layers, but these boobies are a little bit too big. So no, whatever. <laughs> Actually, they are. They don't fit on top of our 10 inch cake, so we are gonna have to trim these down a little bit. So I am gonna take my small serrated knife and we're just gonna use a gentle sawing motion and we're gonna just cut off all this caramelization and round them off a little bit. And that should be small enough. All right, so I finished shaping our boobies and they look to be about the right size that I need. So I'm gonna grab our 10 inch cake now and we're gonna set them on top just to make sure they do fit. And if they do, we're gonna attach them with a little bit of icing and then we're gonna finish carving our cake in the shape of a heart. All 
Alright, so I finished carving them and I think that looks really good so far. Thumbs up if you guys like them too. So now it's time for our crumb coat. So we're going to take our small offset spatula and the same strawberry vanilla buttercream we used earlier. And we're just going to give it a nice generous crumb coat all over. Alright, so I fully covered my cake in pretty pink for breast cancer awareness and now it's time to pop our cake in the fridge to chill. So I'm going to stick it in there for about 15 or 20 minutes to allow it to fully crust over and while we're waiting we're going to color some fondant. So we're going to be using some black, some hot pink, and some flesh tone to cover our cake today. So our black is already taken care of and I'll show you guys that in just a little bit. So we're going to start working on our pink and our flesh tone first. So for our pink we're going to be using a little bit of Wilton's Rose and this is my favorite pink. It is so concentrated and it is so bright and pretty. You do not need much at all. So we're going to add a little bit of pink to this and we're going to mix that up really well. Now for our flesh color, we're going to go a little bit of a different approach and we're going to use some Americolor orange and a little bit of Americolor brown and we're just going to use a tiny dab of each at a time and blend it into our larger piece here until we achieve the flesh tone that we're looking for. All right, I think that's pretty good. I'm happy with these colors, so now it's on to the next part. So I've taken my cake out of the fridge, it's fully crusted over, and now it's ready to use. So I'm gonna take my flesh tone color fondant, and we're gonna roll out a nice big piece to about an eighth of an inch thick, and we're gonna get our cake covered up. All right, there we go. I think that looks awesome so far. I'm really happy with how it's turning out. But it is called Tasteful Tatas, so we're gonna have to get these covered up. So the next thing I'm gonna do is take my pink fondant and we're gonna roll out a nice long panel. I'm gonna freehand cut out the shape of a bra and get our cake covered up. And once I get it on there and I'm happy with how that looks, then I'm gonna come back in and we're gonna finish off our bra with some sexy edible black lace detail work. All right, there she is so far and I love it. Doesn't it look wicked? I think it looks awesome. All right, so now it's time to start working on the black lace. Now I'm not gonna be showing you guys how to make this today because it was very much a learning process for me. There was a lot of trial and error, a little bit of cursing, and some of it ended up in the garbage. <laughs> but I did figure it out and I learned some stuff along the way. So I will put that recipe in the description box below for you guys along with any tips and tricks that I learned. All right, so. Basically what we're gonna do, because we only have a few small pieces here, I'm gonna cut it up strategically and we're gonna use certain pieces in certain places. So I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do exactly, I'm just gonna play with it, but we're gonna try to make it look a little bit sexier. And when I'm finished, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like and then we can move on to the next bit. All right, so I finished adding all my little black lacy bits and I think it looks super sexy. I just love it. I think it looks amazing. And you know, I really don't think I've seen anything out there quite like this one or with this usage of lace. So that's pretty cool too. All right, so that means we're almost done guys. We just have a couple of things left to do. I'm gonna add a little bit of stitch work to the bustier to make it look a little more realistic. And then we're gonna add a little personalized message too. And when I come back, I'm gonna show you guys the finished result.
and ta-da here it is guys and I absolutely love it this cake is so pretty and it was so much fun to make and it was for such a good cause too so I really hope you guys enjoyed the cake and I hope you enjoyed the video too if you did you guys know what to do leave me a big thumbs up and lots of love in the comment section too and if you haven't done so already and you enjoyed the video hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you receive a notification every time I post a new video thanks for watching guys be safe and don't forget to check your tatas bye bye